at Together in Style for another Tech Tuesday. Today I'm excited because I have reimagined my workflow this past week. Uh, and the way I reimagined it is that I <laughs> was working on the Lightroom on the desktop and just spending so much time on the desktop top, it was kind of driving me crazy. And no, hold on one second. I'm seeing this is not working live. Uh, let's find out if this is working live. Test. Oh, we are live. Okay, cool. At least I know what's happening. <laughs> we don't want to make that mistake again. Um, so I've reimagined my workflow on the desktop. And when I was working with Lightroom Mobile initially, I said to myself, I don't quite get it. I don't understand why I would want to do this. But the iPad Pro changed all of that for me. And I want to go into how we are syncing, how we're working with uh, Lightroom Mobile and how it's kind of reimagined our workflow and so on and so forth. So with that said, we're going to dive into the topic at hand. I'm going to use this five minute sand timer just to kill a little bit of time uh, while we kind of just, uh, before we get to the topic at hand, just to discuss a little bit, get people to find the show, chime in, so on and so forth. Ask via live chat with any questions that you have. Uh, I will not have all the answers when it comes to Lightroom Mobile today because I'm pretty new to this, but I'm not new to Lightroom, not new to professional photography by any means. Uh, I have been doing professional photography for about 20 plus years, so I've been working at this for quite some time. With that said, let's just shift gears for a moment while the sand timer is going. Uh, I get lots of questions about my paintings, uh, especially this one that sits right behind me in the live stream on a regular basis. Uh, this is a painting called The Inside Out. It's an oil painting I created. Uh, it is an oil on canvas. And uh, it's deeply textured. Uh, I painted it with iridescent paints, which is kind of unique in that if you use hue lighting in your home, it kind of blends technology and that old world craftsmanship and painting together at the same time. Uh, because when you use LED lights or hue lighting, I have an LED light just kind of uh, lighting from below, it shifts colors along with the lighting in the room, which kind of makes it kind of unique. Um, I'll dive over to the computer here just to share with you kind of a close-up view as well. Let me see if I can take everything with me here and let's go over this way. And so i um, sitting down here at my little MacBook Pro and with any luck we'll be able to kind of share with you Adobe Lightroom as well as how we sync it for mobile. But I'm going to give you a glimpse of this oil painting real quick too. Uh, let me see if I can do picture in picture. I know I can, it's just doing it. Okay, well, let's see. This is a, the coolest little thing. It allows me to switch camera angles. Uh, it's a software from Sling Studio. Uh, and it's cool because I can actually even do picture in picture mode. Let me drop that there, that there, and hit save. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Save, it's prompting me, preview to program. Yeah, okay, it worked. So what's cool about this is it allows me to kind of share picture in picture. You can see me talking, but also see what's up on the screen. So if you, if you zoom in, this is such a fun painting because it's deeply textured, as you can see, uh, making it interesting. And there's a big wide story to this, meaning if you look at it from a wide perspective, you see the giant face here. There's also a profile face here, which is kind of cool. Uh, there is a giant fish, if you follow my uh, cursor here. There is a duck if you follow it here. There's another profile kind of here. Kind of hard to tell and make out, but it's there. And then there's all these little stories blended in between as well. Uh, you know, you've got the girl up here looking up to the moon. Um, you've got all sorts of characters. And what's fun about this is it's kind of a, there's a dark side, there's a light side. Uh, and it's just really bizarre and interesting at the same time. Lots of characters. It never gets old because there's just so much to look at. And the more time you spend with it, the more fun you have with it because you realize there's uh, more to it than you thought originally. Even months go by and I still find things that I'm like, I never saw that before. And I painted it, so that's pretty cool. So anybody who's looking for a really cool piece for their home, it's huge, it's 70 by 84, but big art is better. We all know that it looks cooler on the wall, so uh, make the most of it. Let's dive into the topic at hand because the sand is close enough to run out uh, for us to do that. So let me jump out of Photoshop here with any luck, drop it down, and let's go into Adobe Lightroom. So 
Lightroom, I, yeah, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't get Lightroom Mobile initially. In fact, I found it really annoying uh, because every time I would open Lightroom, it would say, do you want to open Lightroom Mobile and sync with Lightroom Mobile? And I'd have to go through the rigmarole of, of closing it out, so on and so forth. And then it kind of dawned on me how cool this could be. Uh, if I could sync with the iPad Pro, take my work with me, uh, rather than having to sit at the computer for 12 hours editing. And once I realized that, I said, Lightroom Mobile is the coolest thing to happen to editing in a long time. Let me show you how it works. If you have an Adobe Creative Cloud um, subscription, you can do this. Uh, and so basically, if I want to sync a catalog, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go through and you'll see, these are photographs that my wife Jennifer took in Italy. I was capturing kind of behind the scenes in Italy of her doing some street photography. You can catch that on our latest vlog at Together in Style titled Venice uh, and see kind of the behind the scenes of all of this. But of course we know in Lightroom we can control our imagery uh, very detailed, right? We can uh, adjust highlights and shadows, so on and so forth. And you know, if I look here, you'll see that I've actually already made some adjustments. I adjusted the highlights and pulled them back because I wanted to uh, bring out more detail in the highlights here. This is the reason to shoot raw, folks. I know there's a lot of JPEG shooters out there, but the truth is JPEG keeps us kind of in a box and it, it doesn't allow us to maximize the image to its fullest potential. Same thing, the shadows were a little crushed, uh, but pulling up the shadows here, I know uh, this is shot on a Lumix GH5, and the Lumix GH5 has this beautiful, amazing, raw, dynamic range. And I'm able to pull up the shadows, and even if I zoom in super close, you know, the noise ratio is just so low uh, comparatively, even when I'm lifting all those shadows to that level. So I love working with this camera. But uh, with that said, I basically went through and I selected all my favorites from the day, and I single-starred them. Uh, utilizing the rating system here. And then once I single starred them, I knew, okay, if I wanna go back through and see some of these in detail, they'll be organized for me to do so. But then I thought, let me take them mobily with me. So, how do we do that? Basically, I've got all my single stars up here. Uh, I hit Apple A, uh, and you basically are able to um, select them all. And then, if I wanna create a collection, in fact, you know, I may have to move this over a little. Let me see if I can do that. Will it let me? Okay, eh, it's not gonna let me. So I'm gonna dive, eh, you'll just have to see it. <laughs> now basically over here there are collections. If I wanna create a new collection that I wanna sync with Lightroom Mobile, I basically will create collection. And then I, I've already done that though. There's one called Venice Favorites. I've already dragged them over. But if I wanted to, I could drag these over and drop them and have a collection of all my single stars, my Venice Favorites. It's gonna prompt me to reorder. I don't need to do that. And then basically to sync it with my iPad, iPhone, and every other iOS device I have that's connected to the same Creative Cloud account, I just go up here, hit Sync with Lightroom Mobile, and now you'll see it counting down backwards as it syncs all of the photographs from this collection, and I can take them on the go with me. And we're gonna jump over to the iPad right now, and I'll show you how we do that too. So uh, first let me say I'm gonna unplug the HDMI cable from the Mac Pro. So, uh, fingers crossed this works. I did test it, it didn't have a problem, uh, but you know how that is. Let's see. Okay, so I'm plugging. Uh, grab the phone. <laughs> That's the thing that's going on here, let's see. Uh, gonna plug this into, with any luck, the iPad Pro, and with, some luck, if I can open it up, we will see, I maybe mean, I can just actually get out of that, we will see what we need. Okay, so I'm gonna try and change the picture in picture here too. That didn't work, picture in picture. Bear with me as I bring this all to life so we can get it done. Check, save, I'm ready, thank you. Preview to program, we're live, okay. So now I'm in the iPad Pro here, and if I want to open up Adobe Lightroom, it's really easy. Just tap on it with my finger, and we light it up. Um, and uh, I have all the different collections here uh, that I have recently since I've been working with it. These are from Verona, these are from Venice. So I'm gonna open up what we just saw on the desktop on the Mac Pro working in Lightroom. Uh, you see this uh, collection of images, and I can scroll through them, 
and you can see all the different photographs that we have just like we were in Lightroom and it's a cool little light, light box kind of view. Let me actually take off the uh, keyboard there because I don't need that and just kind of keep me up here. Okay, so basically what's cool is if I want to pinch and zoom, I can actually zoom out and see the catalog wider, pinch and zoom, bring it in closer, bring it in closer. And so you can have all different levels of this beautiful catalog able to see. Uh, and then if I want to bring up an image, we can do that really easily. We just tap on it and it opens up in Adobe Lightroom Mobile. And so here's all our synced files, but here's what's cool. All of the data that I did on the desktop is already here and saved in Lightroom Mobile. I can adjust again the highlights if I wish to. You can see I pulled them back to kind of bring some detail in with that raw file. Uh, we'll keep it back where it was. You see I added a little bit of contrast there uh, to it as well. Uh, and we can adjust our color temperature if we wish to. We can go into effects. We can, I boost the clarity to give it a little bit more edginess. Uh, and so you can see all the different things that we did within Adobe Lightroom Desktop available on Adobe Lightroom Mobile as well. Now if I wish to, I can now scrub through photographs as well. Uh, I can get rid of the controls on the right hand side there and just kind of navigate through them creatively this way. Now I want to mention that we were shooting a little bit different. We fell in love actually with the way Venice was looking in black and white. Uh, and so we decided, both myself and my wife, I decided I was going to shoot video using the L monochrome mode on the Lumix GH5, kind of capture some behind the scenes stuff. And she loved it in black and white. So she shot RAW plus JPEG on the Lumix GH5. And here's what's cool about that. If we, if we decide that we want to see through the electronic viewfinder in black and white because it's just kind of uh, showing us it, uh, the scenery more creatively, it's just syncing with our mindset at the time, we can do that. We can shoot RAW plus JPEG. The JPEGs come in in that L monochrome black and white mode and then the RAW files come in in color. So when we get back to our computer, we have all the JPEGs in L monochrome and if we want to, just like the image you're seeing here, we have all the photographs also in color. And it's funny, when I got back to Lightroom, I actually found that I enjoyed the color a lot, but for some reason in the moment that day, the black and white was just singing to me. So, uh, you know, just a different way to think about how you can do both at the same time and just kind of find your zone and do what you think is best for you uh, in the moment. Of course, at the bottom here, we can also double star, triple star, single star. We can also adjust all of our um, settings. We can make picks. So what's cool about this is if I want to take all of my work with me on the go, let's say uh, I did this shoot in Venice and now I'm catching a flight can put it all on Lightroom desktop, sync it to my mobile device, take it with me, do some work on the plane, uh, do some work sitting out by the pool in the evening instead of sitting by the computer all night long. This is just a really cool workflow reimagined uh, in photography. And I got to tell you, in 20 plus years of being in the photographic industry, I've seen a lot of different workflows. I've invented lots of different workflows, but nothing quite as cool uh, is this scenario here. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, that's pretty much a wrap on Tech Tuesday today. Yesterday, Mondays, I try to do something just uh, what I call Motivation Monday, which is just sending positive vibes in your direction out into the world each week on Mondays. Wednesdays, I try to go live Wedding Wednesday for all the engaged couples because I am a wedding photographer as well uh, and I have lots of advice and tips to share with all the engaged couples out there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this wedding, wedding Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this Tech Tuesday alongside with me uh, and you learned something about Lightroom Mobile and just how cool it can be. Appreciate you joining me. You guys have